Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and another polish pickup wish list with me. My internet is back for those of you who are following that saga. We lost Wi Fi access somewhere around like Wednesday and we didn't get it back until Sunday morning, so felt like I was living in the dark ages. But yeah, it came back just in time for me to film my polish pickup wish list video. And this month's theme is haunted history. So every year, September, they do something Halloween aligned, something spooky, and this year it's history theme. So we're just going to go through all the nail polish, as you can see the tabs up here. And if you're not familiar with these videos, I wish list anything and everything that catches my eye, and then I pare down what I want throughout the week. You don't see the paring down process, you just see the wish listing process. So let's get started. Up first, we have 1422 Designs, Secrets of Oak Island. This is inspired by the cover of a book about Oak Island, which started as a TV series about a super mysterious island that gives people today very few clues as to who inhabited that island in the past or whether or not there is treasure to be found there. A purpley pink base backed with or packed full of iridescent flakes that shift from green, blue, purple, blue and purple metallic flakes, black flakes, and holographic flakes, and there are a hundred available. So uh, if you've watched any of my videos in the past for Polish Pickup, you guys will probably know what I'm about to say, and it's that this tone of purple, while I love purple, is not my favorite tone. These close-up shots are nice, so I really like these blue flecks with the black, but this is not my, my kind of purple, so I'm going to pass. This is Adored Colors, The Faithful. It is inspired by the legend of the Black Lady of... Oh, I can't pronounce that. Is it Bojnis? I'm not sure. A castle, this castle, I would assume. And it is considered to be the most beautiful castle in all of Europe. Okay, I will take your word. It is a black base with a red, green, gold shimmer and reflective silver glimmer glitter. It has a red, orange to white glow in the dark. So you can see that right here. Like it's pretty stark white. I like when they glow white. I like when glow in the dark is something other than green. It's fun. It also says to charge it under UV or LED lighting to get a better effect. Uh, best on two to three coats and a hundred are available. So I'm not really into this color tone. I don't know. It looks, it, it's fine. It's just like, I'm not, like I like, deep and dark colors, but I'm just not into this kind of black base usually. If it's a black base, I want a lot of color in the black base. You get what I'm saying? I do think it's interesting that even though it's a black base, it glows white, but I can't see myself wearing this. Now this I can see myself wearing. This is Alchemy Lacquer's Oddities, and that's an instant add to wish list, inspired by the medicinal plant garden of a favorite museum in the heart of Philadelphia, the Mutter Museum. It is a dusty chartreuse jelly nail lacquer with contrasting purple to red to orange shifting shimmer. 300 are available. Love this shimmer, and I like it comboed with this kind of icky chartreuse. Love a chartreuse, so I like this. The name's cute, too. Look at that. That's really stark. So that went on the wish list. We have all mixed up lacquers, the walls, remember? Oh, inspired by the Lizzie Borden house. All right. Um, a sheer gray base with reflecting glitter, black and white matte glitters in different shapes and sizes, and three different intense color shifting flakes. Uh, I like the big black shards in this, but man, I just think about, think about removing this. It's glitter, it's flakes, it's flakes again. It's pretty, but it's like one of those where, I don't know, this picture is kind of selling me on it. I can't tell what tone of gray, like it almost looks like it's going to be silver because of all that reflective glitter. Uh, I feel like if I'm this on the fence about it, I'm probably going to take it off my wish list, so I'm going to pass. Anchor and Heart Lacquer, The Flying Dutchman. Uh, inspired by the, obviously, the Flying Dutchman, but you know what? When I think about the Flying Dutchman, all I can think about is Spongebob. So that's the voice I'm hearing in my head is the Spongebob Flying Dutchman. So that's not spooky. <laughs> it is a deep black and navy blue base with a striking gold green teal large particle shimmer plus chunky lime and teal iridescent flakes. Uh, it says they recommend placing the bottle upside down for five to ten minutes before use to disperse flakes, which is always smart if you're using anything that has like chunkier glitters in it. I really like these big chunky teal flakes. They are quite pretty, but I know myself and I know that this color stains really bad. 
And so I know that I won't pick it up solely because it stains. And it looks like because it's a little bit jellyish, the edges don't fill out quite as nicely. And I don't particularly love that appearance of a polish, so I'm going to pass. Oh, okay. Adding that to the wish list. This is Hard as Nails Pluckley, inspired by Pluckley, allegedly the most haunted village in Britain. It is a green jelly base with gold and green flakes, opaque in two to three coats. 250 are available. It's green. It's a flaky. Need I say more? You, you know that's my vibe, right? Baroness X, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary. Inspired by the Mirror Game, which has three historical figures for how this preteen scare game came about, but none are happy stories. Okay. It is a black to red multi-chrome with black and red reflective glitters and a sprinkle of black hollow glitter. 170 are available. This kind of reminds me of the Hollow Taco one, but maybe this one leans a little bit more red. But I have like three black to red hollow or not black to red hollows but black to red multi-chromes at this point and I don't like buying a bunch of multi-chromes in the same colorway because for me I I feel like I can't differentiate them that well whereas with like other colors I can like other finishes so I'm gonna pass this is Beau Rev's lacquer bent neck lady it is inspired by the haunting of hill house I believe that's a book right I watched the show on Netflix um but I don't think I ever read the book it is a dusky dark blue base with violet red green shimmer, a fiery red orange metal or magnetic and hollow flake. There is no cap. This looks really pretty, both magnetized and maybe it's magnetized in all of them. I was going to say it looks pretty unmagnetized. This is unmagnetized, right? That looks really nice. I like that. I'm going to add that to the wish list. This is BKL's The Woman in Black, inspired by their own ex uh, their own spooky experience while on a ghost tour. It is a sheer black sister polish to Dumacorn with the same green to aqua to blue shimmer. That's interesting. It's a sister to Dumacorn, but it's like, hmm, it just looks like kind of like a multi-chrome because Dumacorn is quite sheer. This one looks fairly opaque. I don't know. I'm going to think about that one. Bluebird Lacquer, here for the booze, <laughs> inspired by the infamous Cheeseman Park in Denver, Colorado. I didn't, I don't know anything about that. It's a purple leaning gray chrome with green and pink sparkles that change to an emerald large particle sparkle with ma magenta, I can't read today, magenta gold shifting magnetic shift, creating a rainbow effect. Looks like there is no cap. This is kind of funny. It says, uh, never ever tested on animals. My dog won't sit still long enough for me to paint her nails. Um, this is really interesting. Is this is so this is like magnetic? Is that it magnetized? Okay, here's like straight line magnetized. Here's like a blobby magnetization. This is very fun. Uh, I'm gonna think about it. Okay, Vanessa Molina. Uh, this one's called True History. Inspired by the story of Hansel and Gretel for adults with strong stomachs. Uh, 450 are available. Neon green pigment, aurora blue pigment, iridescent flake, low reflective silver, and holographic flakes. Yeah, that's on the wish list. Thank you. A flake that's this flaky, that's my vibe. Cadillacer Heads Will Roll, inspired by the legend of Sleepy Hollow, a blue, a purple blue magenta multi-chrome magnetic and a sparkly aurora base, which will shift from maroon to red to orange to yellow and green in extreme angles. This is pretty, but it's like that, that purple to red look like this. It's not my jam. Sometimes I like it, but for the most part, I just, it's not my thing. So I'm going to pass. Cameo Color Lacquer, Ghostly Guard. Inspired by the Ghostly Guard in gray, seen at the Napoleon House in New Orleans, it is a light gray with hollow sparkle packed full of blue, indigo, purple, shifting shimmer, and silver hollow micro flakes. 105 are available. Ah, uh, this is my kind of like blue gray for sure. I don't know why. When I think of blue grays that I like, my instant like thought is Tommy by Zoya. That's like the ideal blue toned gray for me and that's kind of what this looks like only with some flex running through it um but i don't know that i like these flakes or flex in it i like that shimmer though hmm i think i'm gonna pass cattail 
haunts, hayrides, and horsemen. And this looks like it is a thermal. It is inspired by Spooky Town, where haunted hayrides meet the headless horsemen. And, uh, yeah, on this thermal and glow in the dark adventure. So it's thermal and glow in the dark. Look at that. It looks like candy corn a little bit. That's pretty fun. It was inspired. It says this fusion of fun and spooky history was inspired by a country favorite pastime and a little bit of diners, drive ins, and dives. Will the glow in the dark help you see or be seen in the dark? It is a translucent white while warm to a red orange while cold thermal with pink, orange, and gold color shifting shimmer and color shifting flakes and a red or an orange red glow in the dark, darker orange glow when cold, bright light orange glow when warm. 300 are available. So I recently broke my rule of no thermals and I bought I bought two thermals, you guys. Oh my gosh, I'm a mess. But I still need to stick by my no thermals rule other than that. That was just a splurge spur of the moment. This is very interesting though. I've never seen a thermal that glows in the dark. So if you're a thermal buyer, this might be one to add to your collection for the uniqueness alone. Cleona Cosmetics, Jerome Grand Hotel. Inspired by the Jerome Grand Hotel, nestled near the top of Cleopatra Hill, or Cleopatra Hill, overlooking the small mining town of Jerome in the Verde Valley of Arizona, what was once known as the United Verde Hospital, owned by the nearby United Verde Copper Company, has since become the Jerome Grand Hotel. Patrons of the hotel have reported numerous ghost hauntings by past hospital visit or hospital patients. Oh, that's a little bit odd. It has an optional magnetic. The polish appears burgundy at first glance. To represent the awnings of the hotel, its copper gold magnetic pole and silver holographic flakes are a nod to the UVCC and the precious metals mined there. Magnetization re reveals a new dimension with pink, orange, gold, lime shifting shimmer and a pinch of ghostly blue micro flake to represent the spirits of the past which walk by this hotel at night. 393 are available. That's a, that's a fun little number. Let's take a look here. So the color of the base is not my color. This is very pretty. I like that they've designed it specifically. Oh, you can see here. Thank you for putting in pictures, you guys. So they put the picture of the awnings here so you can see where the color inspiration came from. Here it is magnet magnetized on the ring finger. I really like it magnetized. Unmagnetized, like I said, it's just not really my color, but I do like that they specifically designed this. It even says right here, it's intended to be just as beautiful unmagnetized as it is magnetized. And I feel like Cleona does that very well. So while I'm going to pass on this because just the base is not my, my favorite color, I like the concept. And I think that if you like this color, you'll probably like this polish. Here we have Color Spectrum Polish, Lady in Waiting. And this is inspired by... Honolulu International Airport. According to the legend, a woman fell in love with a man who promised to marry her, but then hopped on an international flight and abandoned her at the gate. And I guess her ghost is still waiting for him to return, wearing, seen wearing a white dress. So this is a magenta with blurple flakes and a pink purple auroras. And they're going to donate $3 from each bottle sold to the Hawaii Community Foundation. 115 are available. So that's nice. Uh, this is reading very like Barbie. Very Barbie pink. Um, I say that about like any hot pink though. I'm like, yeah, it's Barbie. It's all Barbie. <laughs> this is quite pretty, um, but I have a lot of polishes that look like this, so I need to pass. Ooh, Coloris to Carol. I knew it. Inspired by aliens. All right, Carol, you got me. Don't, don't even start with me. Look at this. This looks disgusting. I love it. A green. Oh, it's thermal. Uh oh. But I already added it to the wish list. Hmm. Green when warm, orange when cold, thermal polish with pastel aurora shimmer, fairy flakes, and multi-dimensional magnetic effect. 300 are available. I don't know, you guys. Maybe maybe she's in her thermal era. <laughs> What's going on with that? I bought two thermals and I just added the... Oh, all right. We'll think about it. We'll think about it. Oh, that's cute. Crystal knockout where birds never sing. Inspired by Culloden Moors. What? All right. Hang on a second. Sometimes I don't... I don't know. It's something in England. Uh, it's an apple to dark forest green thermal that glows aqua in the dark. There's a lot of glow in the dark thermals this time around, huh? Um, matte glitters in aqua, light blue and black with iridescent color shifting flakes in copper, pink, gold, and green. They don't have any pictures of it glowing in the dark, so that's a little bit disappointing. 
this is fun, but it's to me it's like very St. Patrick's Day, not Halloween. Oh, that's cute. Oh, that's double cute. I would marry Mothman, you guys. He's so cute. Cupcake polish Mothman. Adding that. Inspired by the Mothman of West Virginia. A nail polish filled with silver black, silver red and black flakies and a hint of holographic sparkle. You're coming home with me. That's for sure. This is cute. I love Mothman. I just want to give him a pet. You know, he's cute. He's like a, like a dog, only he's a moth. Um, that's all I have to say about this. I would, I hope my boyfriend can't hear me saying these things. He's going to be like, what is wrong with you? All right, let's go to the next one. Ooh, Cuticula Sleepy Hollow. Yeah, add that too. Inspired by Headless Horseman. Not the Headless Horseman, just Headless Horseman. Uh, it is a black chili base with orange gold shifting glass flakes, black gold red shifting chrome flakes, and silver holographic flakes. This is stunning. It's like very fall. This is the kind of deep polish I want. I like I like a blackened polish that leans a little bit brown, but when it's black and it leans a little bit gray, I'm just kind of like, eh, I don't know, like the earlier one did. But this one, it just reminds me of like dead leaves. Oh, this is fun, right? Especially here. Dainty Digits Lacquer, Fear Frequency. Inspired by Fear Frequency, 19 hertz can be emitted from many sources like machines and unsteady architecture. It's inaudible to most individuals, especially me. <laughs> However, it can be felt in the form of fear, anxiety, dread, or distress. Thank God I'm deaf. Um, that's weird. I'll have to do some research about that. This is a black base with blue to purple shimmer and vibrant red reflective glitters. 150 are available. Um, I will say that... Uh, as far as like, like they go in about like how this frequency has kept us from building civilizations on things like unstable cliffs and in collapsing caves. Um, so that's pretty interesting. This is, I like the color here where it looks a little bit more blurple, if you will. Uh, but I don't know. I like the red in the blue too, but just as like a regular kind of base here. I have a lot of blues in this tone. I probably don't need to add another one because I already don't wear half the ones I do have because, oh my gosh, I have so many. Oh, that's fun. Okay. Really? Uh, damn, Dom, Dom Nail Polish, Traumatic Static, inspired by a haunted TV set from Angie's Childhood. Silver reflective with teal, purple, gold, green, shifting shimmer, assorted white glitters, and black flakes. 400 are available. I love that this is inspired by a TV set. I love the creepy state. Like when I was a kid, I loved looking at the static. I don't know why. Uh, this is perfect. It suits the inspiration well. And adding that reflective glitter adds an extra oomph to it. So that's staying on the wish list. Danglefoot nail polish, hair raising. Inspired by something I think haunts us all, our past hair mistakes. A raspberry jelly with strong green, blue, purple shimmer. 200 are available. What's the worst haircut you guys have ever had? I feel like it's probably for me when I had highlights in middle school. That was that was a choice because I also had like middle-aged like Karen haircut. Yeah, no, not for me. Uh, I don't particularly, like I like this pink shade, but here it looks a little bit more like raspberry and I'm not huge into that. So I'm going to pass. Dark and Twisted Lacquer, which is Bonfire, inspired by blank. A hundred are available. That's all you get, guys. It looks like it's a, a kind of like squishy teal blue. It's got some iridescent shimmer and maybe some flakies in there as well. Uh, I don't particularly buy, like I said earlier, these types where you can kind of see the outer edge is a little bit more see-through than the rest. I just don't like that look, so I'm going to pass. Do Nail Polish Poisoned Apple. Inspired by the Wicked Queen that poisoned Snow White, leading to her eternal sleep. Deep red with chameleon flakes and silver magnetic pole. 150 are available. I feel like the magnetic pole is pretty weak from what I can see. It doesn't look that significant. Uh, if I'm going to buy a magnetic, I want it to be pretty poppin', so I'm going to pass. Ooh, what is this? DRK Nails Blue, inspired by Fordlandia. 
a dark blue, light blue thermal. Oh, I already got a thermal on my list. I don't need another one. Um, this is really, really pretty. But it has a mixed a mix of Aurora Candy Flakes, red, bronze, gold, green. 150 are available. <sighs> I don't know. No, no, I can't. I don't really like thermals where the color shift is like this subtle either. So I'm going to pass. Ember Nail Lacquer, The House, inspired by Amityville. This true story is probably one of the most famous hauntings in the U.S. Um, everybody's pretty familiar, I think, with the Amityville horror. It's been done to death. I'm not a big haunted house person. I like spooky stuff, but I just think haunted houses are... Maybe I just don't like houses. So I, I hate houses so much that haunted houses annoy me. <laughs> like, one more reason not to buy a house. Am I right, you guys? Um... <laughs> This light teal green with lots of tiny color shifting flakes of glitter to set it off a spectacular silver hollow magnetic magnet not included. A hundred are available. Uh, it's really icy. Looks icy in a lot of these pictures and I don't like an icy blue. So I will pass on this. Emily Damali beneath the surface. I do like this blue. Inspired by a scary image of a house. So well, girl, don't hold out. Show me the scary house. I want to see the scary house. Khaki green base with a strong blue shimmer. You can see on this one, like on the tips here, uh, and like around the edges that you can kind of see a little bit through it. And again, I just don't like that look. So as much as I really enjoy this color, I just, I, I will never wear a polish like this because I feel like it doesn't look full coverage when you have like that kind of like weird tip and like around the cuticle line. Femme Fatale, Sucks to Be You, inspired by classic vampire folktales for the theme Haunted History. It is a berry magenta base with strong red shimmer that shifts to copper and gold, packed with a, uh, packed with something, is a lustrous amount of antique green reflective glitter. Antique green, what is, oh, that's fun. Uh, ideal in two to three coats and a glitter suitable top coat is the best. 300 are available. I think I'm ready to admit to you guys that I do like red polish now, just not this tone of red because this is the tone of red polish that, this is the kind of red that is in my skin tone. I'm a little bit pinky red. And so when I wear a color like this, it just makes my hands look even redder. So, and it looks kind of gross. Garden Path Lacquers, an aura of foreboding. I love this. Um, Inspired by images of a famous haunted mansion during a Halloween party. And the ghost hosts ominous words. Your cadaverous pallor betrays an aura of foreboding, almost as though you sense a disquieting metamorphosis. How come I could read all those hard words, but like I stumble on and in the... <laughs> it's a blurple curly base packed with large red pink iridescent glass flakes and aura shimmer and sparkling holographic micro flakes. Now, I got about 10,000 polishes in this colorway. Do I need another one? No. Am I going to add this to my wish list? <laughs> you know it. Uh, what's next? If I can click this X. Ooh, Glisten and Glow NJ Pine Barrens. I'm assuming New Jersey. Yeah. Ooh, they got a Jersey Devil. I feel like we don't talk about the Jersey Devil enough. The New Jersey Pine Barrens are rumored to be the home of the Jersey Devil. Scary encounters on dark nights in the wilderness of the New, Jer New Jersey Pine Barrens with this mysterious creature that is described as like a kangaroo-like creature with the face of a horse, head of a dog, bat-like wings, horns, and a tail have been reported for more than 250 years. Black jelly polish loaded with color-shifting shimmers that shift from emerald green, olive green, copper, golden, and blue at extreme angles. I just want to revisit this, this, uh, this description of the Jersey Devil because if multiple people have seen something like this. They're corroborating a story like this for 250 years. Do you really think it's fake? I mean, who's who's all making up this type of story? Okay, I... This is pretty. This is like, Hillary, come by me. Come wear me. I'm wearing Glisten and Glow right now, actually. Add that to the wish list. Graceful Nail Polish Ghost Ship inspired by Marie Celeste, a tri-thermal. Gosh, we're getting crazy with these thermals. Uh, dusty pink to dirty, dirty purple. <laughs> what is dirty purple? I'm sorry. I know what a dusty pink is. I don't know what a dirty purple is. That sounds like a weird thing that I... Dirty purple. Okay. To a navy purple at its coldest. 
covered with a ghoulish green flash of shimmer and packed with ultra chrome chameleon flakes in navy green, purple, and pink. 180 are available. I can't stop thinking about dirty purple. I I don't know. I, I, I don't need a thermal because I already have one on my list that I shouldn't be buying. And I if I buy this, all I'm going to think is dirty purple. So I got to pass. Hearts and Promises Grim Grinning Ghosts, inspired by the Haunted Mansion, which was inspired by the Harry Packer Mansion in Jim Thorpe, Pennsylvania. Black scattered hollow base with purple shimmering sparks, purple metallic flakies, green hollow glitters, and green gold UCC flakes. 300 are available. Didn't they just remake the Haunted Mansion movie? And didn't it, like, flop super hard? Like, remember when Disney used to be fun? Remember when they used to release good movies? And, like, they were a treat, and now they're like, here, have 5,000 in, in one sitting? Like, I'm Disney needs to just stop for a minute. Make me miss you, Disney. <laughs> okay? Um, I really like the color here. The only thing I wish is that I could see these colorful flakies a little bit more strongly against this base, and I think I would be sold. This is Hit the Bottle Polishes Out Damned Spot. Oh, okay. Inspired by the quote from Shakespeare's Macbeth, in which Lady Macbeth continuously, continuously washes her hands to remove the blood she sees there. Oh, I read that with like weird inflection like oh damn like get out you damn spot okay now i understand um it is an oxblood red stamping polish and one coat cream 250 are available i don't know what it is i feel like i don't want to buy stamping polishes from polish pickup i'm sure they're lovely like th these always seem really nice but for me like polish pickup is like i want the crazy fun weird stuff not like the standard go-to so i'm gonna pass Indie by Patty Lopez, Cursed Doll. Oh, that's fun. I like that picture. Inspired by Annabelle poster. Okay, can we talk about... Have you guys seen any of the Annabelle movies? And, like, have you seen the doll that, like, Annabelle is based off of? Annabelle is... You know what? Can you see I was trying to make a latte the other day? What's the real doll? Wait, not, not like, the real doll, real doll. Like, the real Annabelle doll. Wait, so is it, I can't remember. It's like, this is the doll in the movie, right? The really messed up looking one. And then the real doll is a Raggedy Ann doll, right? Like, what? Why would you do that? Yeah, yeah. The real, the real Annabelle was a Raggedy Ann doll. And then in the movies, they were like, here you go. This is the doll. And I'm like, what little girl is carrying this doll around? That is the most scary looking doll on the planet. Anyways, I like Raggedy Ann, but like, Raggedy Ann, look at her. I just want to give her a little pat on the head. Okay, anyways. Pale purple jelly base with red, gold, green, aurora shimmer, blue, purple, iridescent flakies, and green reflective glitter. 300 are available. This is fun. I like that. I like that. I like the flakies in this one a lot. And the reflective glitter is fun. Like, I, uh, I don't know. It's like, one thing I do notice, though, is, like, reflective glitter kind of makes a polished base look a little bit duller. Like, you can see this one looks a little bit washed out. I think I'm going to pass. Okay. Thank you, Jen. Jen and Perry's Hell Hath No Fury, inspired by Emily Bridges, or Emily's Bridge. The story goes Emily was to meet her fiancé one night at the bridge to elope, but he never showed. So, oh, okay. She hung herself from the rafters. Maybe... He forgot what time he was supposed to meet you, girl. Maybe you just make a phone call first. Uh, since people have reported hauntings when going through the bridge, the vision of a woman screaming gashes on their cars passing through from her long nails. Hmm. That would be me if I were a ghost. Look at that. Charcoal base with bronze and emerald green metallic flakes and orange gold green shifting crystal flakies. 300 are available I feel like a lot of the Jen and Berries I have are greens. Like, she does green type of polishes really well. So this is really pretty. It looks very jewel-toned. Hey guys, Editing Hillary here. I don't usually do this, but I just wanted to pop in really quick because I'm going to cut the audio from this portion due to the fact that I use a word that is, I've come to learn, is a taboo word to speak. And I don't want to make anybody feel uncomfortable or upset by me saying that word. So I have since learned no longer to say that word and to just cut it right out of the video. This polish was formerly called something that 
is a taboo topic amongst native communities, uh, especially when speaking to people who are outside of that community. And I believe that several people within native communities brought this to Gior Couture's attention. And she has since changed the name of the polish. Uh, but this is now called Flesh Pedestrian. And it is a aqua green blue multichrome with a green gold magnetic pull. Uh, I just wanted to come in here and say that and so you guys weren't like, why is the audio different? But I don't want to put that word out there and like have people hear it and feel, you know, some type of way, very uncomfortable, very upset to be hearing that on my channel. So that's all for me. Let's get back to the wish listing. Oh my goodness. Kathleen and Co. Haunted AF. Inspired by New Orleans, one of the most haunted cities in the U.S., based off of all the hauntings in the city. Black and violet base with a heavy dose of glowy blue shimmer that is super shifty and ends up a bright fuchsia at angles. Ah, oh, these people are getting me. Kathleen. Oh my goodness, look at that. All right, here it is, like, going through all the shifts. And here's another one. And here's another. And here it is going on my wish list. KB Shimmer, Take the Stairs. This is inspired by a haunted hotel ride. So it says, bold near neon lights are reflected in an array of color shifting flakes swimming in this midnight base. You can definitely see that. Um, the pops of pink shift to red while blue and aqua morph into purple and green. Hints of gold and yellow complete this hauntingly beautiful shade. Try this with a matte top coat to make the flakes really pop. And then here is matte, which, yeah, that looks pretty good. I would add this to my wish list, except I literally just bought from, is it Fancy Gloss? I don't even remember. I, I just, I ordered a lot this weekend. Uh, and I got a black base with flaky. So I'm going to add this to my wish list and then look at the listing of the other one I bought and see how they compare and then decide. Um, Crystal Designs, if you've got it, haunt it. Inspired by the ghost of Casa Loma. Deep purple base with yellow, green, blue shifting magnetic. There's a lot of magnetics this week or this month. Pink, green, shimmer, and magenta. I almost, I thought that said reproductive glitter and I was like, what is that? Uh, reflective glitter, actually. 250 are available. This looks similar to a Cleona Cosmetics that I have from their, they had like a psychedelic, what was it, like Slickadelics, Slickadelics collection. So I think that I have something very similar to this. Um, but it is really pretty. This is Leisha's Lacquer. Is it Misha Peshu? It is inspired by the underwater panther from Ojibwe lore. This haunting being lurks in the waters of uh, Gichigami, Lake Superior. Okay, that's probably why I've heard of this because Lake Superior is one of our lakes. And it is a gorgeous bright blue base multi-chrome with red to gold shift as well as similar shifting flakies and turquoise shifting flakies. It is definitely quite pretty. I wish there were more pictures in like varying lights because I feel like it's just like a really dark light and like a studio light and that's about it. Um, but here in these like deeper toned lights, I don't like this tone of purple. This is the purple I like. So I don't know. I am going to pass. This one looks very similar to the last one. Only in this picture though. Look, it looks like red in all these other pictures, but this one it looks purple. Lemming Lacquer, Blucifer. <laughs> Um, it says it's a medium blue jelly kissed by microflakes that traverse from the abyss of black to the allure of burgundy and the ardor of red. Um, yeah, that's, that's a lot of words to, to read and not understand what this is. My brain can't comprehend anything right now. Uh, it, I can see that like blue to red kind of look. It looks like it is packed with glitter. I am not a huge, like, micro glitter only in a polish wear like I think they're fine but I don't like taking them off so I'm gonna pass oh that's cute lucky 13 lacquer mystery machine inspired by scooby-doo <laughs> um listen this is cute and I like it but th is this haunted history uh, there's not a lot where I'm just like are we adhering to the theme or are we just doing spooky Halloween? I, I don't know. Sometimes I'm like, did you read the theme? Did you? Um, this is cute. Vibrant aqua base with magenta copper, gold lime, green color shifting shimmer and crystal flakes. And it glows in the dark blue. There are no pictures of it glowing in the dark blue. So who knows? <laughs> it's 125 available. I just feel like sometimes like 
and this could just be that they don't have all the pictures up yet. That might just be what's going on here. But sometimes it's a little frustrating when you have like these features listed, but then you can't preview it anyway. So I'm going to pass. Oh, okay. Lumen Haunted Melody. Inspired by the Greenwood Cemetery in Central Florida, they are reported to have been haunted since the 1800s. 82 acre cemetery holy crap uh it is known for disembodied screams laughter of children and a haunting music box tune playing on the breeze well that's spooky cool blue with a strong gold to chartreuse to blue green shift each angle will reveal a unique sparkle with a different shift with a focus on shimmer this shade will be semi sheer and shimmering in one coat and semi opaque in three thin coats that's what i'm talking about look at that that's that's fun Okay. So yeah, I like this. Like they got, they give you a little blurb, just enough to know about the area. Gives you, piques your interest to tell you if you want to go look up some more. If you don't, you don't have to. Uh, and then they tell you exactly about the polish. This is, this is the ideal polish description for me on Polish Pick. Um, but yeah, I'm going to add that to my, I did add that to my wish list. Luna Lab Creations LLC Ghost Train. Inspired by stories of ghost trains that travel from one destination to another, usually on specific dates. That's how trains work. <laughs> Green, turquoise, blue, and purple shifting shimmer embraced by purple, pink, peach shifting magnetic. 125 are available. Again, this one looks very similar to one of the Slickadelics that I have from Cleona, so I'm going to have to pass. Linby Designs never gives up her dead this is inspired by lake superior and the many shipwrecks that live in the depths of the water so true i feel like there's like a lot of shanties written about this um deep cerulean blue base with green to blue to purple shifting shimmer and scattered hollow flakes let's see this is a very pretty blue it kind of reminds me of one that i have from great lakes lacquer but this one has these little like flakies in it Hmm. I kind of, I th I'm thinking about that one. I love blue. MJ Lacquer, we've been waiting for you. Inspired by the historical ghost tours of Galveston, Texas. Purple to smoky green thermal. What, is it a dirty purple? I would love to know. Generous mix of red to green to orange, multi-chrome flakes, and pink iridescent flakes highlighted with purple, orange, gold, green aurora shimmer, creating a golden smoky green appearance in the warm state. 130 are available. I don't need any thermals, let alone the one that I already put on my wish list. So I'm going to pass, but thank you for putting thermal on your label. Oh no, Monarch Lacquer, Eerie Embers. Oh, look at that. Excuse you. So Monarch's, Monarch Lacquer's Eerie Ember of Salem pays homage to the historical significance of the Salem Witch Trials. Very nice. Um... Fiery shifting flakes and black glitter are the effect ingredients in this orange jelly base polish. Two to three coats for opacity. No cap. Girl, please give me that. Thank you. Oh, that's fun. Nail Artisan Cosmetics Graveyard Ghoul. Inspired by George McKenzie the Ghost, join us after hours on the graveyard shift as we present to you our spooky contribution, Graveyard Ghoul. Set on a pale periwinkle base with ghoulish green shimmer, bright enough to wake the dead. You know what they say, if you've got it, haunt it. 1,200 are available. Um, This is really interesting. I wish they had more photos, but the two photos they do have are enough to pique my interest. So we're going to add that. Oh, okay. This looks kind of similar to the Monarch, but like redder. Nailed it. Goddess of Fire. Inspired by Pele. It is a red base with red gold UCC flakies, copper green crystal flakies, and red and black metallic flakies. 300 are available. Okay, so this is a Hawaiian brand as far as I know. So yeah, this is inspired by the Hawaiian goddess Pele. And it looks, like I said, it looks very similar to the monarch one. Or the, was it monarch? Yeah, it was monarch. Let me... Where'd my favorites go? Wish list right here. Okay, let's let's do something real quick. Yeah, this one is super orange. And this one's a little bit redder. So I think I like the orangey one that I picked more. So I'm going to pass on this. Nails by Virgo Moon, The Legend 97. 
Inspired by the song The Legend 97 by Steve Cook and Local Legends, the colors are inspired by Michigan Force in autumn. Fall. What? Who says autumn? We're not British. Uh, wait, do British people? Who says autumn? I don't know who says autumn. I don't say autumn. A pearlescent orange base with a variety of black matte glitters and orange hollow glitters works well as a topper as well as over warmed toned polish well first of all girl i don't know what warm tone really means so i would put over the wrong color 100 are available this is it's definitely got halloween vibes you know with the orange and the black glitter but i ugh, the base color <laughs> creeps me out a little bit uh so i think i would not wear this so i'm gonna pass night owl lacquer haunted forest this one's fun Inspired by the thick, dark, mossy haunted forests in Washington, it is a linear holographic multi-chrome that shifts black and olive green, red, and orange. I can definitely see that ready orange, especially in this picture. This is pretty. Hmm. I like this. I bet half my wish list right now is green. Let's think about that. Noodles nail polish. Be bewitching Bridget. Inspired by Bridget Bishop, she was executed during the Salem witch trials and was believed to be a witch to being outspoken, deliberately dressing differently, and bewitching people. So, like, literally, if that's what makes you a witch, man, middle school Hillary would have been over with. She is said to haunt Turner Seafood in Salem, which was built on land that she owned. It is a navy crully with gold, copper, green, color shifting flakes, green, orange, iridescent glitter, copper, hollow glitters, and metallic caram caramel, caramel, oh man, I was going to say caramel this time, so metallic caramel glitters, dress with some texture, do the glitters, suggest wearing one to two to coats of top coat for a smooth finish, 300 are available, so okay, I'm pretty sure this is my friend Stacy's hand, but I told her that I'm always really scared to be like, oh, I think that's Stacy's hand, because what if I'm wrong, what if she calls me out and it's not her? Stacey, if this is not your hand, I'm so sorry, but I'm pretty sure it's your hand. Okay, bye. Polish Calling the Spirits. This is cute. Inspired by seances and the Victorian spiritualist movement. Pale spectral lavender packed with intense pink, copper, green shifting shimmer. I don't know where I was going to say gold from. There's no gold in this. <laughs> this is really pretty. All right. You got me. Okay. Painted pretty polish. One foot in the ground. Inspired by graveyards. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Deep purple base with a bronze shimmer and hollow microflakes. 200 are available. I've about had it. <laughs> I just... Graveyards. Which one? Come on. I don't know. Sometimes I'm just like... Sometimes people go so hard with the inspiration and then other times they're like... Do you remember that one polish that was like a red polish that said it was inspired by red polish? <laughs> like, what? Oh... I'm gonna pass because this is that red purple. I'm not trying to rag on this brand specifically. It's just like I've been noticing now that I've been shopping for like what two years from Polish Pickup. I just feel like sometimes brands really just do not care about the inspiration. Pampered polishes, hitchhiking ghosts inspired by Haunted Mansion, a brighter green jelly base with a bold green shimmer and an assortment of mint colored glitter. This is the pettiest reason to not buy a polish because this is a cute polish, but like one, it reminds me of St. Patrick's Day more than anything. So like, I just am not feeling that vibe. But two, I already own a polish called Hitchhiking Ghost and I know I have it. So I don't want to have a second one because I have to edit my spreadsheet in a funny way if I have multiple polishes with the same name and I don't want to do that. Paradox Polish, Amityville House. This is inspired by the Amityville Horror House. And it is a neon orange with iridescent flake and black flake with a silver magnetic. Short, sweet, and to the point. Um, I don't like the magnetic because it just seems barely there. I don't like... I feel like silver magnetic poles, for me personally, are just not very interesting. Without the magnetic pole, I think it's, it's quite nice. But that magnetic pole, I don't know. I know you don't have to magnetize it, but it just makes it like weird to me that like you have a magnetic and you're not using it as a magnetic. So it puts me off of them. Penelope Lou's Ghost Bride. Inspired by a beautiful image of a ghost bride full of butterflies leading her. Why is she full of butterflies? Are they in her tummy? Are they in her brain? Are they in her mouth? Where are the butterflies taking her? I do not know. I could not tell you. Silver Holographic with Blue Purple Aurora Shimmer. 700 are available. This is going to keep me up at night, you guys. Why is she full of butterflies? I need to know. This is why you should post the inspiration picture, because otherwise 
you've got someone like me being like, what's going on? Um, this just looks like a pretty simple uh, silver hollow. And I know it says it has like blue, purple, aurora shimmer, which you can see it for sure, but I have a lot of like silver hollows, so I'm going to pass. Oh, Phoenix together until the end. I've got like 9,000 that look like this, and yet I always want more. <laughs> Inspired by the neon lettering from the Bates Motel. See, that's very specific. I like that. Thank you. That's that's the kind of... I want to know like exactly specifically what you're inspired by, but I also don't need like a five paragraph essay. This is perfect. It is bringing the shimmery together. Inspired by the neon lettering from the Bates Motel, Phoenix is bringing the shimmery together until the end. It is a ghostly, glowy polish packed with turquoise, cyan, purple, pink, shifting shimmer. 500 are available. Yes, please. Pinnacle polish stairs to nowhere. Inspired by the Winchester Mystery House, a black and brown jelly base full of glowy red, orange, aurora shimmer that shifts gold green at extreme angles. 100 are available. It's just not my... Oh, it might be my color here. Here is not my color. Here it's sort of my color. Here it's sort of my color. Here it's not my color. Maybe under these really bright lights it looks more red. But it is a brown base. Hmm. This is quite pretty. Kind of looks like coffee grounds. Let's think about it. I like pinnacle polish. They're pretty good. Oh my goodness. Polish for days. Goblins and ghoulies. Inspired by Madame Leota from The Haunted Mansion. Deep mulberry purple base with an intensely glowing blue purple shimmer. I really like the word mulberry. It's fun to say. That's beautiful. Thank you. How many polishes in this colorway have I added to my wish list this time? Okay, yeah, we'll take that one too. Thank you. Psych Minerals Cuba Road Lore, inspired by the sightings of ghostly figures and orbs in the White Cemetery in Lake County, Illinois. I always thought like the orb lore was really funny because it's just like people are like, I saw an orb and it's just like, why is that scary? <laughs> why, why is an orb scary to you? There's a lot of ghost activity around Cuba Road. A linear hollow base polish with silver reflective glitter and a smattering of ghostly green-blue iridescent flakes. 150 are available. This is pretty cute, but it looks like maybe if you have longer nails, it might not be super opaque. And again, I have a lot of like silver hollows, so I'm going to pass. Red-eyed lacquer, the Blair Witch. This is kind of fun. It's like a pinky base, right? A lab, a grade lavender crelly. Excuse me. With pink purple shifting flakes and black flakes, inspired by Maul Dyer, who inspired the Blair Witch. You know what? I have never seen that movie. I need to. I I like found footage movies. I need to see that. This is fun. Two hundred are available. Maybe one hundred and ninety nine are available because one's mine. Restored by polish. Mysterious waters, inspired by the Bermuda Triangle. When I was a kid, I was obsessed with the Bermuda Triangle. Um, it is, let's see, indigo base with lavender flakes and a strong teal aurora shimmer that shifts just like the changing tides. A hundred are available. This is quite pretty. I wish the purple was just a touch different. That's the only thing. I really like the shimmer in it. And I like the purple in this picture, but in most of the other pictures, it looks a little bit out of my purple zone, I guess you could call it. So I'm going to pass. Okay, I was like, did I not just buy a rogue lacquer that looked exactly like this? Um, I got Naked or Not from Polish Pickup June, and it looks like it has a similar base color and black flakies, but this one has iridescent flakies, where this one looks like it has like copper flakies. So this one's called Ghost Town. Um, it says that it is a light gray tone white crelly with black metallic flakes and orange copper gold green UCC flakes. Uh, this one is very pretty, but I swear I have something like this. But I kind of want it, but I need to look at my swatch sticks. Saki Cosmetics, Gourd Vibes Only. This one reminds me of Orange Soda. Inspired by Halloween, Gourd Vibes Only is a bright orange with gold to pink shimmer. 100 are available. This is a really pretty orange. I wish that I could see a good representation of the shimmer. Uh, if I could see the shimmer a little bit better, I might feel differently about it. But for me, it just looks a little bit too plain um, for me to spend $13 on. If I could see like the pink shimmer, if it's like stronger than it's coming through, I might be interested. But for now, I'm going to pass. Sassy Cat's Lacquer, Endless Hall, inspired by a Haunted Mansion movie. A lot of Haunted Mansion. 
I watched the Haunted Mansion movie one time. The one with Eddie Murphy, right? I, is that like a cult classic? I don't remember anything about it. It's a smoky navy base with purple sparkly fine glitter plus purple glowy shimmer. A hundred are available. It's pretty, but this is like kind of like a royal looking purple. I don't like royal purples as much, so I'm going to pass. I like this person's nail shape. I want to do my nails like that. Oh, okay. All right. First of all, Sassy Sauce Polish. Love them. Let me ask you a question. I'm going to assume it's based off of Lizzie Borden. And I really like this polish. But I do have something that I feel a little uncomfortable about. Yeah, inspired by a photo in the story of Lizzie Borden. Smoky indigo base with a strong golden green glow. Jade hollow glitter pigment and scattered hollow. 500 are available. So I know I added this to the wish list. I really like this polish. I saw some people saying they were not comfortable with the topic haunted history because they weren't sure how people were going to handle certain aspects of it. And I think this is probably one example of it. Now, as somebody who consumes a lot of true crime, I'm not going to like get on a soapbox and preach because like, I know like what, what people say, what this is somebody's worst day of their life and you're getting entertainment out of it. I do understand that. And so I try not to like throw it in people's faces. And I know that the Lizzie Borden thing happened like a bajillion years ago, but man, that's, that's a lot for mainstream, right? I don't know. Maybe I'm being, I'm not even being sensitive because like this doesn't really bother me per se, but I do take a step back and I look at it and I'm like, yeah, you know, if you're not familiar with the Lizzie Borden story, like, so allegedly, allegedly, uh, Lizzie Borden, this woman, she killed her her father and i believe her stepmother with an axe and so let me ask you a question well a fun pun might be a little bit like ugh, you know but i did add it to my wish list so what does that say about me i don't know sizzlin shades nail lacquer lady of the lake inspired by the lady of the lake from white rock lake in texas it is a blue base with blue purple teal shifting flakies silver hollow glitter and teal blue Purple Shifting Shimmer. 100 are available. I definitely have a lot of blues in this color. I don't know if they didn't wrap their tip or if that's just how the polish looks on the tip. Let me see. Can I see anybody else's? I think that's the same person. Um, Yeah, I link. I, I link. I think this is one of those where it like doesn't always fully cover the edges. So I'm going to pass. Starlight and Sparkles. Starlight Polish Berg Frankenstein, inspired by Frankenstein Castle in Germany, once home to an alchemist named Johann Conrad is it D Dippel, Dippel? Uh, who claimed to have created the elixir of life and was accused of grave robbing and experimenting on the bodies. Well, buddy, don't do that. Um, soft, earthy red-brown with brick red and dark gray flecks and translucent micro flakes that shine white, gold, and red, meant to resemble the sandstone that was likely used for at least part of the castle's original construction. Thank you for explaining that. That's nice to know. 250 are available. This is one of those colors that, like these mauve type of colors, I really like them, but wearing them makes my skin look disgusting. So I'm going to pass, but it is a very pretty tone. Sweet and sour lacquer. This may be... One of my reds here. Oh, that's, I'm pretty sure that's Stacy's hand. Oh my God, was the first one not Stacy's hand? I'm going to throw up if it's not. Maybe I'll edit that part out. <laughs> I'm adding that to the wish list. This is inspired by Texas Chainsaw Massacre Leatherface. It is a cherry red jelly with black flakes and blue iridescent flakes. Very pretty, must have, love sweet and sour. TSS Nails, The Blue Lady. Inspired by A Death at Steel Beach Hotel in Louisville, Kentucky. It is, let's see. Okay, that's a lot to read. Um, we're just going to read what the polish is. There's only 100 available. It is a blue polish that glows with ethereal light, featuring their signature shimmer with a little extra kick. What is the extra kick? What did you put in? Did you put vodka in this polish? What's the extra kick? Or maybe hot sauce, perhaps? It's pretty, but it's like just, it kind of looks like a plain metallic. However, it doesn't look brush strokey like at all. And so that's pretty impressive. Vapid's Demon's Road. I love 
Vapid's logo. I don't know what, because it like looks like it's been typed with a typewriter. And there's a deep and dusty, I thought that said deep and crusty midnight blue. I was like, ew, that's worse than dirty purple. Uh, with a strong shimmer, glow of red, pink, copper, green, is haunting and easy to shift, dries to a satin finish. Um, let's see, 320 are available. Yeah, I like this. Oh, look at that. Okay. Okay. All right. Add it to the wish list. What Addiction, The Abyss. This, ooh, green. Uh, inspired by the haunting tales of the Titanic. A deep teal filled with green, gold, red shimmer and red, gold, copper flakes. A hundred are available. You know, they have like a Titanic museum in Las Vegas. And I remember we went into the gift shop, me and Rob, and they had like Titanic ice cube trays and like all these like fun, funny little trinket things revolving around the Titanic. And Rob said something that made me kind of take a step back and be like, oh my God. He was like, you know, imagine if somebody did this with like 9-11, like made just like funny little, like if you took a tragedy and you made ice cube trays out of it. I, I don't know. It's just really wild. Like the further away you get from something in history, like the more, the more separated, I guess, emotionally and mentally you become. So that's weird. I don't know. I just felt like I needed to tell you guys about the Titanic ice cube trays and how weird that was and kind of messed up. Um, anyways, not my tone of green. Well, here it is, but here it's not. So I'm going to pass. Whatcha Cecil? Is this the Cecil Hotel? Yeah, it's inspired by the Cecil Hotel. I'm sick of hearing about the Cecil Hotel, to be honest with you. <laughs> I, I don't know. I just feel like people really, like, why do you, why do people go there? This is a holographic blue with shimmer pink. 300 are available. This is a very pretty polish. I'm going to think about it. It is quite pretty. Wildflower Lacquer, Lady of the House. This is inspired by the Overholzer Mansion, which was considered one of OKC. I didn't know what OKC meant. I had to Google it. For those of you who don't know, it's Oklahoma City. <laughs> um, let's see. The couple died there, and it said that Anne still haunts the mansion to this day. Peering from the third story window, like she's waiting for Henry to come back home from work. Oh, she's dedicated. I love her for that. Smoky plum base with pink to orange to gold, almost green shifting shimmer. Let's see. This is an interesting shift, but it reminds me of like Christmas. Like this reminds me of like cranberries. Why did I say like that? Cranberries, cranberries. I'm in a weird mood right now. Um, so yeah, there's that one. I'm going to pass. And Zombie Claw, Infected Forest, inspired by a haunting picture of a forest. It is a gray base with red-black pigment, red-gold shimmer, and red-black flakies. 200 are available. I like this kind of color. I like this base. Um, but I feel like out of all the other polishes on my list, this is one that would get knocked off first. Just because like I'm still thinking about a lot of those other polishes. So let's take a look at the wish list. We have one, two, three, four, six. Oh, yeah, six. Hang on a second. I think it just counts them for me. Yeah, I have 30. Um, 30. Well, so this month, I definitely have more leeway with how many I can buy because for September, it's my birthday month. And that was one of my exceptions to my rule for my budget. Oops, I knocked something over. Um, so I will probably buy more than I usually do because I have an exception to that rule, but I'm not going to go wild because I want to buy other stuff throughout the month. Uh, and if I seemed a little bit like, I don't know, ranty or negative in this video, I feel like maybe somebody's going to say something. It's not my intention to like rag on these makers. I understand that this is not easy to do, to run your own business and things like that. It's just like sometimes after so many months of being like, I don't know with the descriptions and things like that. It does get a little frustrating because it's like, all you got to do is tell me what's in your polish, right? I, like, that's all I want to know. And if I came off a little bit preachy about like the the uh, Lizzie Borden thing, I'm not trying to be preachy. Like like I said, I, I consume true crime content quite a lot, actually. Um, but I also try to be sensitive to the, the thoughts and feelings of others. So it's like, I... I I guess I was more just talking about out loud about my own like personal introspection and do I feel like it's even right for me to be consuming that content? I don't know. I, I really don't. So if you guys have thoughts or feelings about that, you could tell me. I'd be interested to know. Um, 
let's all be nice in the comments and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.